गाइस दिस सौरभ है एंड वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन फॉर द केवीपीवाई एसएक्स प्रोग्राम दैट इज फॉर ग्रेड 12 एंड दिस इज ऑन थर्मोडायनामिक्स एंड इक्विलिब्रियम आई एम वेरी सॉरी वी कुडंट टेक कंडक्ट दिस क्लास ऑन द शेड्यूल्ड डेट फॉर हैड अ स्मॉल इंजरी सो आई एम बैक एंड आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वंस एंड वेरी सिंपल वंस for thermodynamics and equilibrium now remember this is for the kvpy sx segment that is for grade 12 and we are also conducting classes for kvpy sa segment that is for grade 11 tune into the vedanto channel at 8 and 9 on weekdays from monday to uh, <coughs> thursday just so to be updated with all the awesome content that is going on the channel also remember that this topic these are the dates uh, we have already covered mole concept of stoichiometry, states of matter. This is what was scheduled for 15th of August. Like it not So the, um, the next thing would be on chemical kinetics, radioactivity and electrochemistry. Now remember, we are covering everything. So you can see that this is the whole plan. Uh, atomic structure, GOC, chemical and physical properties, organic compounds have been given a lot of importance because organic compounds uh, chemistry say bohat zada questions aate hain and cheeze bohat zada difficult nahi hai however bohat vast hai seg segment to usko humne thode zada classes deke rakhi hain last ke teen jo classes hongi wo do classes to inorganic chemistry ki ek dedicated coordination compounds and qualitative analysis and last jo class rahega 17th october ka wo revision classes rahega now remember Okay, thermodynamics and equilibrium is a very interesting segment and is say questions jitne aate hain wo maximum one or two questions aayenge one from thermodynamics one from chemical equilibrium but this area jo ye cover karte hain ye bahut simple sa area cover karte hain they cover the area of probab uh, of only formula based questions they do not give very concept driven questions so if you know the formulas for thermodynamics from the first law, second law tak bahut zyada jaate bhi nahi hai. First law, second law mein thode thode question jaise ki enthalpy ka formula ho gaya aur entropy calculation ka formula ho gaya aur free energy calculation ka formula ho gaya. These formulas are important. In formulas ko agar aap by heart kar lete ho and you know how to feed in the values, you can get the answers very quickly in the examination. Equilibrium, chemical and ionic include karta hai. Equilibrium se questions bohat simple aate hai. Ionic equilibrium se the questions are very very simple. People who fear ionic equilibrium should not because the questions are asked primarily on pH calculations, pKa, pKb, also at the max on buffers. They do not go all the way to indicators, salt hydrolysis, ye sari cheezon pe wo jate bhi nahi hai. Chemical equilibrium, Le Chatelier principle is important and calculation of equilibrium constant. So, with uh, this idea, let's start today's session and Telegram group join KGA so as to be updated with all the amazing things that are happening over there. Bohat sare bache doubts pushte hai, doubts resolve hota hai. So, you can also get them resolved KPY se pehle. Agar aapke sare doubts resolve ho jate hai, to kafi achha rahega. Like, share and subscribe the channel. That is very, very vital. Please do that. Please do tell your friends as well for doing this. Okay. Now, let's start today's session with the first question. The first question is this, a, connect, a concentrated solution of copper sulfate, which is dark blue in color, is mixed at room temperature with a dilute solution of copper sulfate, which is light blue in color. So, copper sulfate aqueous is blue. Okay, if it is highly concentrated, it will be dark blue, the intensity of the color will be higher. And if it is like dilute, it will be less blue or it will be like lighter shade of blue. For this process, what is happening? So what we are doing is we are mixing a concentrated solution with a dilute solution. So concentrated dilute solution ko mix karne pe kya hoga ki uniform mixing hogi. And if uniform mixing takes place, entropy has to increase. Entropy means the randomness of the system. And randomness will always increase when you mix things. Okay, so aap kisi bhi do cheez ko mix karo, entropy will always increase because molecules find more volume to spread around, more interactions take place. So, entropy change is positive, entropy and enthalpy change, entropy change is positive, entropy change is negative, entropy change negative nahi hoga. D is obviously incorrect. Entropy change is positive, yes, 
नाउ बट वॉट वी कैन टॉक अबाउट इंथेल्पी इंथेल्पी होता है ये ओके जस्ट अ मोमेंट ओके दिस इज इंथेल्पी एंड दिस इज एंट्रॉपी चेंज डेल्टा एस इज एंट्रॉपी चेंज डेल्टा एच इज इंथेल्पी चेंज इंथेल्पी चेंज टेल्स एट अबाउट द हीट एक्सचेंज इन द प्रोसेस नाउ वेन यू टेक a dilute solution and mix it with a concentrated solution is may no enthalpy change is observed we cannot observe any enthalpy change the reason is this enthalpy will change only if a chemical process takes place or if a process of melting or a process of evaporation occurs yahan pe enthalpy change nahi kyunki humne sirf mixing kiya hai enthalpy does not change so the right answer to this question obviously the next, uh, incorrect answer will be d the right answer is enthalpy change is positive but enthalpy change is negative no both positive enthalpy change is positive enthalpy change enthalpy does not change in right answer should be c theek okay? hai simple sa question is thoda sa concept lagta hai remember when you are mixing things simple आइडिया है कि अगर आपने एक स्क्वाश लिया एक आपने शरबत बनाया एंड यू मेक यू मेक अ कॉन्सेंट्रेट सोल्यूशन एंड यू मेक इट डाइल्यूट सोल्यूशन और यू मेक टू शुगर सिरप्स वन कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड वन डाइल्यूट मिक्स दम टूगेदर नथिंग विल हैपन वॉट विल हैपन इज यूनिफॉर्म मिक्सिंग विल टेक प्लीज दैट्स इट चलो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन वन एंड टू दिस इज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन दिस इज सेकेंड इक्वेशन The equilibrium constant for the reaction, this reaction हमें calculate करना है बहुत सिंपल सा सवाल है इट्स इट कुड बी लाइक द इजिएस्ट क्वेश्चन दिस पेपर देखो दो इक्विब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट दिए हुए हैं इफ यू आर यूजिंग टू इक्विब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट टू गेट द रिजल्ट फॉर और टू फॉर्म एन इक्वेशन फॉर द थर्ड इक्विब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट यू जस्ट हैव टू अरेंज दम एक एल्जेब्रिक मैनिपुलेशन करना है हाउ डू यू अरेंज दम You keep the first equation like as it is. जिस जिस तरह का है उसको उस तरह का ही रहने दो keep it as it is and the second equation you invert it like h2o is on the reactant side hydrogen and oxygen on the product side you bring them on the reactant side like h2o and oxygen on the products uh, on the reactant side and h2o on the product side how did it look like so i need i need this co2 equilibrium with co plus half o2 and if i do this h2 plus half o2 which is an equilibrium with h2o if i add these two equations this will get cancelled out and i will have co2 plus h2 co plus h2o which is this equation okay which is this equation now remember we are preserving this equation isko jaise jaisa hai usko waisa hi humne rehne diya hai so this equilibrium constant does not change let's say the equilibrium constant is k1 and for this equilibrium constant which is given over here has to be changed remember when you are inverting the equation when you are making it go the reverse way then equilibrium constant ka bhi aapko reciprocal lena hai for example If this reaction has a equilibrium constant of 7.1 times 10 raised to minus 13, then for this equilibrium constant K2 will be one upon whatever value is given, whatever value is given over here. When I am adding two equations, when I am adding two equation to get the third equation, then the equilibrium constant for this. is equal to the product of the equilibrium constant of the equations that are being added so that is k1 times 1 upon k equilibrium which is for the second equation that will give me an answer kitna answer aa jayega 9.1 time range to minus 13 10 to minus this will get cancelled off 9.1 upon 7.1 so this will not even be 2 so 2 to ho nahi sakta hai 0.78 no it it has to be greater than 1 so the only answer that seems logical is 1.28 okay <clears throat> how do if you form the equilibrium equation then you can break it into two parts by writing k1 
times 1 by k equilibrium. Okay. So whenever you take a product, whenever you add two equations, the equilibrium constant for the third equation will become the product of the equilibrium constant of the reactions that you have added. Very simple, very straightforward question. Let's move on to the next one. Our objective is that we solve the questions solve the questions and at least last year's questions are the same questions. So let's focus on this question. For the reaction A, B, uh, A changing into B, Delta H0 is 77.5 uh, kilojoule per mole and delta S0 is 25 joule per mole. In thermodynamics, it is very, very vital that you focus on the units because a minor change in the units may change the result by a very large magnitude. The value of delta G and the temperature at which the reaction reaches equilibrium are respectively. Now, how to solve this question? This question can be solved very, very easily. You have to remember one very important concept that delta G represents the uh, feasibility of a reaction. Now, whenever a delta G is, delta G can adopt three types of values. Delta G can be zero, delta G can be negative, and delta G can be positive. If it is zero, that means it is at equilibrium. If it is negative, that means reaction is spontaneous. Reaction can take place on its own. spontaneous and if it is positive it is non spontaneous so for example if i ask somebody to sit and study that is a non spontaneous process because padhai karna koi bhi nahi chahta i also didn't want to study when i was a kid but if i am asked to go to the uh, if i am being told that okay there is a match uh, there is an india australia match or a cricket match that is there on the tv obviously my inclination would be to watch it like i do not have to be forced to watch it okay most of the people would not be forced to watch it so delta g for the second thing is negative delta g is positive thermodynamics is a set of truths okay is a set of truths jo ki observe kiya gaya hai delta g is zero for equilibrium and delta g can also be calculated using this equation delta h minus t delta s Okay, delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. Now, if it is equal to zero at equilibrium, I can say very comfortably the delta H by delta S is the temperature at which the system reaches equilibrium. When this is equal to zero and I take delta H by delta S, that means this is the temperature at which the system reaches equilibrium. Now, delta H is given as 7.5 kilojoule per mole. 7.5 times 10 raised to 3 और ये कितना दिया गया है 25 तो ये हम 10 लिख देते हैं यहाँ पे तो ये हो गया 3 2 that becomes 300 and 0 the right answer should be D ठीक है the right answer is D very simple question very straightforward देखिए थर्मोडायनेमिक्स के क्वेश्चन जो आ रहे हैं वो इजी क्वेश्चंस ही आ रहे हैं कोई ऐसा डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन नहीं आता है ओके चलो Next question, the solubility product of magnesium hydroxide. This is a question from ionic equilibrium. The question is about solubility product. Now, what is the meaning of solubility product? I will explain it in brief. Solubility product is the product of the concentration of ions produced from the salt. If salt is very dissociate, kar gaya, okay? So let's say the salt is in the form AB and it gives off A plus and B minus ion. Okay. Now, if I want to calculate solubility product, I take the product of the concentration of A plus and B minus. Now, remember, if this value is very high, the solubility product will be very high. That means I have to dissolve a lot of such salt into water to make a saturated solution. This concept comes from saturated solution. If I take a saturated solution, I can't add more salts unless and until I increase the temperature. Now, if I take sodium chloride, sodium chloride in the way, sodium and the chloride ions are present in the salt structure, all of them will come into the medium. And so, the concentration 
concentration of both of them will be really high and the product will also be very high. So I need to add a lot of salt so as to make the solution uh, saturated. But if I take a sparingly soluble salt like magnesium hydroxide, gelusyl vagere me rata, like antacids contains magnesium hydroxide, that is a that does not dissolve very efficiently that does not dissolve completely so magnesium ion concentration in water and hydroxide ion concentration in water is quite less solubility product will be quite less and so i can i need to add just a small amount of it so as to dissolve it okay sorry so as to make the solution saturated dissolve to nahi hoga saturate karne ke liye okay so if ksp is high more salt is required for saturation more salt is required for saturation now with this idea in mind let's look at this question if i have a salt which is dissolving to a very very small extent ksp will value will be very low that means it will be considered as a weak electrolyte. Now, see its value is 1 times 10 raised to minus 12. So, this will be a weak electrolyte. It's a weak electrolyte. Now, I add sodium hydroxide. Remember, there is a concept known as common ion effect. A common ion effect takes place when you have common ion derived from a strong electrolyte affecting the weak electrolyte. Okay? Kisi achhe school se uh, like a better prepared student can hamper your progress okay for example you are maintaining the first rank in your school consecutively for a number of years and a new student comes who is entering into your class and he is a very very good student better than you so kya hoga? Aapko, you will feel insecure probably your position will be lost and so you start making mistakes rather than you be comfort, confident you start making mistakes and aapka peechhe ab jaate rehte ho so the same thing happens common ion effect i have a strong electrolyte from which a common ion is derived how do i solve the question concentrated solution is added to a 0.01 aqueous solution of magnesium chloride so How do we solve the question? Magnesium chloride is a strong electrolyte. Magnesium chloride will produce how much amount of magnesium? 0.01. So magnesium ion concentration is 0.01. Solubility product is given as 1 times 10 raised to minus 12. So KSP would be written as concentration of magnesium ion times concentration of OH minus whole square. Why I'm writing OH minus whole square? Because the equation where magnesium hydroxide dissociates looks like this Mg2 plus plus 2 OH minus. Okay. Now, if I use this equation, KSP value is given 1 into 10 raised to minus 12 which is equal to magnesium ion concentration. How much magnesium ion is present in the solution? 0.01. OH minus ion concentration whole square. Mujhe kya nikalna hai ki pH. To main OH minus ion concentration nikalta hoon, POH nikalta hoon and from there I can calculate pH. So this will give me an answer 10 raised to, <coughs> this is 10 raised to minus 2. So 10 raised to minus 10 is the OH minus ion concentration whole square. OH minus ion concentration will become equal to OH minus ion concentration will become equal to 10 raised to minus 5. Now you know that P uh, H plus ion concentration times OH minus ion concentration in any solution should always be 10 raised to minus 14 at 25 degree Celsius. We have no temperature of change in our body. So, we will ask that 25 degree Celsius is 10 raised to minus 14. Hai. So, H plus ion concentration is how much? H plus ion concentration will become equal to 10 raised to minus 9. Okay. So, pH will be equal to 9. Very simple question.
clear pOH will be also uh, 5 pOH plus pH is equal to 14 or you take H plus N concentration times OH minus N concentration is equal to 10 raised to minus 14. From both these relations, I will get the pH as equal to 9. Let's move on to the next question. Next question is this. Theoretical question. For a process to occur spontaneously, only the entropy of the system must increase. Entropy of the surrounding must increase. Entropy of the system or that of the surrounding must increase. The total entropy of the system and the surrounding should increase. Now remember, uh, there is a uh, relation known as Clausius inequality. I'll write it over here. If you don't know it, then you can it. There's the relation known as Clausius inequality. Which suggests that delta S for system plus delta S for surrounding for a spontaneous process will be greater than will be greater than zero. It has to be positive. Okay, delta S for system plus delta S of surrounding will be greater than zero. Is kum both aram se For example, there is a container. Let's say there is a container. Assume that there is a partition over here. Okay. There is a partition over here. Clear? Yaha pe kuch gas present hai. For example, let's say hydrogen gas present hai. Okay. This which is present at let's say 2 atmosphere. The volume is V1. This volume is also V1. Volume dono ka same hai. Dono bulbs ka volume same hai. Now what will happen when I open this partition? Main isko hata deta hon. Okay. When I, when I open this partition. I remove the partition, what will happen? The gas will move from this region into this region. Assume that there is a vacuum, so it will move from this side. Now, this gas will move from this side. Did we have to put any external effort? No. I know that gases will always move from a region of their higher concentration to a region of their lower concentration. So, this will move from this side. Now, movement will take place as long as the pressure becomes equal in both the bulbs. Now, tell me something. Is the entropy of the system increasing? How would we know? Agar mere paas ek gas pehle chote volume mein present hai and now it is present in larger volume, it has got more space to move around, more space to execute his, its motion. Yes, the entropy of the system is increasing. So if I want to write the entropy of the system, I will write it as positive. But what is the entropy of the surrounding? Surrounding since is not giving any heat for, hap for this process to happen, surrounding ka entropy could change nahi hota. So delta S for surrounding is 0. Okay? Ab in dono ko hum add karte hain. To ye kitna kya result aata hai? Positive aata hai na? If I add delta S system plus delta S surrounding, I will get a positive result. So remember, in a Clausius inequality or Clausius inequality, ne ye kaha hai ki if a process has to happen spontaneously, it is not only the system's entropy that is taken into consideration, not only the surrounding's entropy, but a sum of both of them. So dono ka sum positive hona chahiye. Thikhe? So the answer to this question will be D. Thikhe? Chali. Next question is this, the pK of a weak acid is 5.85, the concentration of weak acid and its con uh, the concentration of weak acid and its conjugate base are equal at a pH of. What simple question is, pH of a weak acid, for example, I take a weak acid as CH3COOH, this is a dummy example, CH3COOH, its conjugate base will be CH3COO minus. Okay, now suppose there is a solution where a weak acid, weak acid is present with its salt of conjugate base. That means I have taken CH3COOH, okay, I have taken CH3COOH and I have mixed it with CH3COONA. Isko kya bolte hai? What kind of a solution is this? Remember, whenever such a scenario will exist, 
where a weak acid is present with the salt of its conjugate base, it will be known as a acidic buffer. Acidic buffer. It is known as a acidic buffer. If it is a buffer equation solution, the pH of a buffer solution is given as pH is equal to pKa plus log of conjugate basis concentration divided by acid concentration. Okay. Conjugate base concentration by acid concentration. Why I am not writing salt is because ho sakta hai ki ek dibasic acid ho. Two ions, two H plus ions can be given out. Okay. So it could or it this Na plus ki jaga ek Mg2 plus ion ho jai. So conjugate base concentration lena hai. Salt ka concentration lena ki jaga conjugate base ka concentration lena hai. Now it is written that concentration of weak acid and its conjugate base are equal. So if this is equal, this will become log 1. Log 1 is 0. pH should be equal to pKa. So the pH at which the concentration of conjugate base becomes equal to the weak acid's concentration in a buffer solution is the same as the pKa value. So 5.85 should be our answer. Okay. 5.85 हमारा आंसर रहेगा। मैं एक सिंपल, एक प्रो टिप मैं आपको देता हूँ कि कैसे आप कहाँ पे इस इक्वेशन को यूज़ करोगे। सपोज़ आपने एक एसिड एक एसिड का सैंपल लिया एंड यू आर एडिंग एनीओएच। जैसे आप एनीओएच ऐड करोगे, फर्स्ट ड्रॉप एनीओएच आपने ऐड किया, सम एसिड इस कंज्यूम्ड एंड सम at complete neutralization, for example, हमारे पास 100 millimoles of acetic acid present है, I will use buffer equation from the time one mole of so uh, one millimole of NaOH is added until 99.9 .9 millimoles of NaOH is added. I will not use the buffer equation at 100 millimoles of NaOH. At 100 millimoles of NaOH. That will be complete neutralization. I will be using salt hydrolysis equation. ठीक है? तो जब तक complete neutralization नहीं होता है, तब तक आप buffer equation use करोगे. Okay? अगर आपने base add किया है, तब तक आप buffer equation use करोगे. लेकिन buffer जैसे ही neutralization होता है, then you will use the concept of salt hydrolysis. ठीक है? चलो. Next question. The delta H for vaporization of a liquid is 20 kJ per mole. Assuming ideal behavior, the change in internal energy for the vaporization of 1 mole of a liquid at 60 degrees Celsius and 1 bar is close to. Very simple question. Question to solve kya hai? 2014 mein question hai. You have to solve it like this. Delta H is equal to delta U plus <coughs> delta NRT. Okay. Delta U calculate karna hai. Delta H is equal to delta U plus PDV होता है. PDV can also be written as delta NRT. Delta H value is given as 20 kJ. So 20 times 10 raised to 3. Divide and I subtract 1. Delta N, I take 1 mole. 1 mole. R value is 8.314. Temperature is 60 degrees Celsius. So 273. 273 plus 60 will be 333. 333 divided by 1000 कितना answer हो जाएगा ये this answer delta U will be equal to how much uh, so 8324 if I just take the first number 24 almost like uh, 2 point something होना चाहिए so this will be 20 kilo joule uh, ये joules में अगर इसको हम जूल्स में किलो जूल्स में ही रहने देते हैं। So 20 minus this, if it is two point some value, because it is three three three, if it would had been eight and this would had been three, तो ये twenty four होता, तो two point four हो जाता, and then I would had subtracted uh, two point some value. Now again it is three three three, तो two point some value होना ही चाहिए। Three तक पहुँचेगा नहीं, so answer हमारा 17 के आसपास होगा। Right answer should be B. Okay? Take necessary approximation to solve the question very quickly. 
बहुत इजी से सवाल है इसको ज्यादा समय नहीं लगा मैं इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने में नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस फॉर अ रिएक्शन ए चेंजिंग इन टू एन बी द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ ए डिक्रीजेस फ्रॉम जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स टू पॉइंट जीरो थ्री मोल्स पर लीटर एंड दैट ऑफ बी राइजेस फ्रॉम जीरो टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स मोल्स पर लीटर एट इक्विलिब्रियम ओके वेन इक्विब्रियम इज अचीव्ड ये चेंज हो रहा है कॉन्सेंट्रेशन में हाउ वी कैन एक्सप्रेस दैट आई कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस ए चेंजेस टू एन बी initially it was 0.06 not is 0.03 initially 0 now it has become 0.06 what is the the values of n and the equilibrium constant how do we do this bahut simple sawal hai kya ek cheez soch ke dekho a and b if you take a and b can i say the number of moles of a upon number of moles of b will be in the ratio of 1 upon n okay number of moles if i use one mole of a and there are certain number of moles of b it will be in this ratio for example agar ye main 2 likh deta hu yahan pe suppose i write 2 over here so one mole gives two moles of b okay so number of moles of a upon number of moles of b is in the ratio 1 upon n i bring this over here and bring 1 over here this equation becomes number of moles of a upon 1 number of moles of b upon n clear now i change the number of moles and also change the time मोल्स चेंज करेंगे तो टाइम भी चेंज होगा बिकॉज रिएक्शन इज प्रोग्रेसिंग सो इन द सेम इंटरवल कैन आई से दैट डेल एन ए अपॉन डेल टी इज इक्वल टू डेल एन बी अपॉन डेल टी टाइम्स वन बाई एन दिस इज वॉट वी विल बी गेटिंग सो हाउ डू वी सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन आई यूज द सेम लॉजिक I use the same thing. Del N A. What is del N A? Final concentration minus initial concentration. So final is 0 0.03, 0 0.03 minus 0.06 upon del T, which is equal to one upon N. This is 0.06 minus 0 upon del T. Now see that. Concentration of A is decreasing. A is decreasing, so this will become negative. To make it positive, to make it positive, to make every term positive in this equation, I multiply it with minus. Okay. So, इसीलिए आप देखते हो chemical kinetics में जो reactant होता है उसको negative sign उसके prefix में लगाते हैं. And for products, I put positive sign just to make the rate of the reaction alike. The rate of reaction is a positive value. तो rate of reaction को positive लाने के लिए चाहे हम reactant use करें चाहे product use करें हमारे पास positive result आना चाहिए For getting that positive result, I will put a negative sign in front of reactant so as to make it equal to so as to make that result positive. Now this will be equal to 0.03. ये cancel हो गया and this will be one upon n 0.06. कितना answer आ गया? Two n becomes equal to two. ओके मैंने एन भी कर लिया था टू तो एन आ गया टू सो वन पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज डन एन विल बी इक्वल टू टू नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन द वैल्यूज द इक्विब्रियम कांस्टेंट तो इक्विब्रियम कांस्टेंट क्या लिखेंगे के इक्विब्रियम इज इक्वल टू बी स्क्वायर अपॉन ए ओके बिकॉज यहां पे टू है वॉट इज बी स्क्वायर 0.06, okay? And at that point, जब ये 0.06 हो रहा है, at that instant A is 0.03, because square लेना है, so this will become two, and this will become 0.12. The right answer to be two and 0.12. The right answer should be A. Clear? Right answer should be A. चलिए नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 
the entropy change in the isothermal reversible expansion of two moles of ideal gas from 10 to 100 liters. इसको समझो कैसे सॉल्व करना है. Entropy calculation के लिए the equation that we use is this. Del S is equal to C V L N T two upon T one plus R L N V two upon V one. Okay. We use this equation for solving delta S or identifying the change in entropy. Now, if it is isothermal, T1 and T2 will be equal. These two things will be equal. So, this value will become equal to 0. Ln of 1 is 0. Plus R Ln V2 upon V1. Now, what is the value? <coughs> this is for one mole. अगर मैंने n moles के लिए निकाला तो मैं क्या करूँगा? n cv कर दूँगा. So I will take n. This is for one mole. If it is for n moles, I'll multiply it with n. I will get n r ln v2 by v1. n की value कितनी है? Two. R value is 8.314. ln को log base 10 में change करने के लिए 2.303 से multiply करेंगे. 2.303 times log of 10 to 100. So V2 is 100, V1 is 10. So this is log 10. Answer kitna ho jayega? 8 to 16, 32. Almost 32.3 hona chahiye. Okay. So what I'm doing is, ye 8 hai, ye 2 hai, ye 2. So 8, 4, 32 ho jayega. So almost 32.3 hona chahiye mara answer. Oh, sorry, uh, the answers are very close. So it's better we calculate. So 8.3 and this will be 4.6. So 8.3, 4.6. 38. The answer should come as to be 38.3. So why would approximation work very nice over here? is because the values are very close 35.8 38.3 32.3 so if i do a very uh, quick approximation i might get a very incorrect result so please do look for the options as well okay since the options are very close it's better not to take approximation the right answer will be 38.3 okay and it is joule per kelvin joule per kelvin k units mein aapka answer rahega next when 1.88 grams of AgBr is added to 10 raised to minus 3 aqueous solution of KBr, the concentration of Ag is 5 times 10 raised to minus 10. Now this is again a question of solubility product. AgBr is a sparingly soluble salt. KBr is a uh, like a readily soluble salt or it's a highly soluble salt or it's a strong electrolyte. If the same amount of Ag Br is added to 10 raised to minus 2 molar aqueous solution of Ag NO3, the concentration of Br minus is. Now remember, if I have to calculate the concentration of Br minus present, whenever common ion effect is operating, I need to know the solubility product. But the solubility product is not given. So what I do is, I first try to calculate solubility product. Solubility product how do calculate karenge? So it is given that 10 raised to minus 3 aqueous solution of KBr. So can I say that the Br minus ion concentration from KBr because it is a strong electrolyte will dissociate completely is 10 raised to minus 3. 10 raised to minus 3. And Ag plus concentration, the concentration of Ag is given as 5 times 10 raised to minus 10. So this means that in this solution mein Ag plus a concentration is so and Br minus ion concentration is so so solubility product of AgBr will be Ag plus times Br minus kya hona chahiye? 5 times 10 raised to minus 10 times 10 raised to minus 3. This will be 5 times 10 raised to minus 13. KSP value will be 5 times 10 raised to minus 13. Okay. Now, if the same amount of AgBr is added to 10 raised to... Now, what is the common ion from AgNO3? Ag is the common ion. From KBr, the common ion was Br. From AgNO3, the common ion is 
AG. AG anothra is a strong electrolyte. Now, if you ask me that, sir, we need to remember strong electrolytes, so I can't give you the answer to this because there are so many strong electrolytes, so many weak electrolytes. But if you solve some more questions, you will get an idea of which salts turn out to be sparingly soluble salts. So, which salts we call strong electrolytes. So, AG anothra is a strong electrolyte. If I use the same result, now KSP is known. KSP AG plus on ion concentration Br minus ion concentration Br minus ion is now to be calculated AG plus ion concentration kitna aega AG NO3 ke se AG NO3 will give uh, 10 raised to minus 2 molar of AG plus because the concentration of AG NO3 is that the amount of AG plus obtained will exactly be equal to the concentration of AgNO3. So Ag 10 raised to minus 2. This is 5 times 10 raised to minus 13. So the right answer will be, and this is Br minus ion concentration. This will be equal to 10 raised to minus 11. 5 times 10 raised to minus 11 will be our answer. Okay? Chalo. Next question pe chalte hai. Now, the equilibrium constant Kc for the inaction nahi hona chahiye. For the reaction, for the reaction, this is 0.5. Okay. The reaction will proceed in the backward direction. Now, when the reaction has to move in the backward direction, there is a small condition that needs to be fulfilled. Remember, there is something known as reaction quotient Q. It is the it looks the same as equilibrium constant because it takes the concentration of products upon reactants. But Q can be calculated at any instant. I can calculate Q A at any point of time, at any instant. I can calculate Q at any instant. Reaction start hua, calculate karlo Q. Reaction thoda aur der hua, calculate karlo Q. Reaction reaches equilibrium, calculate Q. Reaction equilibrium ke bahar chala gaya. Equilibrium condition ko bhi cover kar liya, calculate Q. So, remember that Q can be calculated at any instant and any given point of time. Q is equal to K at equilibrium. Q is less than K reaction moves forward. Remember, whenever it is at, whenever Q is less than K, reaction will move forward. And Q is more than K, reaction moves backward. Because the system will want to re-achieve equilibrium. Kuch bhi karo, wo apni equilibrium ko re-achieve karne koshish karega. Isko hum graphically bhi samaj sakte hain. So, suppose this is a plot of concentration versus time which is done for this reaction. Reactant changing into products and this ke liye equilibrium constant is more than 1. Equilibrium constant more than one hone ka matlab equilibrium at equilibrium product concentration is more than reactant concentration. Now reactant kuch yaha pe present hai. Reactant is present over here. And product is present over here initially. Kyunki reactant jis samay maximum process product kuch banai nahi hai. Now reactant will slowly decrease. And product will slowly increase. Until equilibrium is achieved, so I can say that this is the point where equilibrium is achieved. This is the time when equilibrium is achieved. Now, if I look at to at the end of the reaction, if I want to look at the end of the reaction, so ye increase karte karte kitna hoga? Increase will be up till the point where it becomes equal to the reactant concentration. And it decrease karte karte zero ho jayega. Okay. So this is the complete timeline. This is from the start. Sorry. This is from the start. And this is the end. Okay. 
Now over here, if I obtain equilibrium, this is the condition for equilibrium. If I am calculating Q in this region, if I'm calculating Q in this region, I can see that the Q value, the reaction is, is still over here. Reaction is still over here. Reaction kither move kani koish karega? Equilibrium ki taraf. To forward move kar rahe ki backward move kar rahe? It will be moving forward. So if Q is less than K, so I calculate the prod ratio of this is product reactant, ratio of product and reactant. And if it is less than K, reaction will move in the forward direction. If it is more than K in this region, if I calculate Q, I will get a value which will be more than K in this region. If reaction tries to re-attain equilibrium, it will move in the backward direction. So our question kya hai? Q has to be, uh, question mein ye pucha gaya hai ki, it will proceed in the backward direction. So it will proceed in the backward direction only if Q is, Q is more than K. Kaise karte hai? So let's see, Q more than K hone ke liye, the reactant concentration should be really less and the product concentration should be really large. So let's see. I will write the expression for Q as B C upon A whole square. Now let's feed these values. This is A, B, C. So B and C, 10 raised to minus 2, 10 raised to minus 2, this becomes 10 raised to minus 4. And A is 10 raised to minus 3. So 10 raised to minus 6 ho jayega. So Q value comes as to be 100. And ye kitna hai equilibrium constant? 0.5. So 0.5 se Q ki value zyada hai ki kam hai. It is larger. It is more. Zyada hai. So reaction will move in which direction? In the backward direction. So right, right answer should be A. So pahla hi option humne dekha. Aur usse se answer aagya. Single option right question. We do not have to go any further. Next question is this. The latent heat of melting of ice at 0 degree Celsius is 6 kilojoule per mole. The entropy change during the melting of in joule per Kelvin is equal to. Remember, under expression for calculation of entropy, entropy is the heat exchanged at a given temperature. Now it is given that latent heat of melting of ice. Itna heat aapko dena pad raha hai for melting the ice is given. So I can write del S is equal to del Q upon T. This is the expression that we would use to solve the question. Del S is equal to del Q upon T. Remember one other equation, del S is equal to NCV, uh, NCV ln T2 by T1 plus nr ln v2 by v1 that expression can also be used if heat is given i will use this expression if volume change temperature change is given i will use that equation so del q is given as how much 6 kilojoule so that means 6000 joule temperature is 0 degree celsius so it will be divided by 273 kelvin kitna answer answer should come as to be Yep, answer should be 22. Answer should be 22. Now there is an answer given as minus 22. There is an answer given as 22. Now which is correct? When I am providing heat, the randomness in the system will increase. When ice will convert into water, water is a more random system. So entropy of the system is increasing. So delta S will be equal to delta S for the system will be equal to plus 22. Like in surrounding the other, suppose this question would have been like surrounding a kitna change. Hua. So surrounding a change kitna hoga, minus 22. Okay. So you are saying that this is delta S becomes plus 20. Delta S for system becomes plus 22. Delta S for surrounding becomes minus 22. Why it is becoming minus 22? Because heat is lost from the surrounding. So if it heat is lost, it will be becoming minus. In the add karenge, to kitna ajayega answer? Zero. Other delta S for system plus delta S for surrounding becomes equal to zero. It means the system has achieved equilibrium. Okay? It's a reversible process. Mein chal hai. Equilibrium is a reversible process. Hoga. Okay? Chali. Next. Next question is this. The molar enthalpy change for H2O changing 
liquid changing into vapor and one atmosphere is 41 kilojoule per mole assuming ideal behavior the internal energy change for vaporization of one mole of water you can take this problem as a homework because we have just solved a question where we had to calculate internal energy change from enthalpy change so enthalpy change is given internal energy changes to be calculated one mole of water so you can see that the repetitive pattern in which the same equation is being used over certain number of years ये 2014 में आया है वो 2011 में आया है इसका मतलब अगर आपने के पी वाई के लास्ट सिक्स सेवन ईयर्स के क्वेश्चंस अगर सॉल्व कर लिए सेम फार्मूलाज का एक नोट बना लिया एग्जामिनेशन से पहले इफ यू रीड दोज फार्मूलाज एंड गो प्रिपेयर विद द विद माइंड सेट दैट आई हैव टू एस के पी वाई यू विल बी एबल टू डू दैट ठीक है क्वेश्चन डिफिकल्ट नहीं आते हैं लेट्स मूव अड ये आपका होमवर्क है प्लीज डू पोस्ट द एंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई रिप्लाई टू दम नेक्स्ट इज द पी एच ऑफ वन नॉर्मल एक्व सोल्यूशन ऑफ एच सी एल सी एस सी सी ओ एच एंड एच सी ओ एच फॉलोज द ऑर्डर विच इज द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट एसिड द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट एसिड शुड बी एच सी एल एच सी एल इज द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट एसिड इन तीनों केस में एच सी एल इज द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट बिकॉज इट्स एन इनऑर्गेनिक एसिड ऑर्गेनिक एसिड्स जनरली आर वीकर एसिड्स कंपेयर टू इनऑर्गेनिक एसिड्स तो एच सी एल इज द स्ट्रॉगेस्ट एसिड ओवर हेयर फॉर्मिक एसिड एंड एसिडिक एसिड फॉर्मिक एसिड इज अ stronger acid if i take formic acid and look at its conjugate base and acetic acid and its conjugate base now remember conjugate base is formed by just removing one h plus ion you have to understand this fact that if this anion is stable it will not want to take up h plus and go in the backward direction so a strong acid should produce a stable conjugate base strong acid produces stable conjugate base what is the, how we can like further simplify this what is the meaning of a stable conjugate base less negative charge remember charge is like a headache jitna kam charge hoga utna favored rahega so a stable conjugate base should have less negative charge and what reduces the negative charge what reduces the negative charge groups which can pull electrons groups which can pull electrons so minus i or minus m groups make the negative charge as less as possible but agar apne wahan pe plus i groups laga diya or plus m groups laga diya it will increase the negative charge now let's look at the stability ch3 pushes electrons h does not do that so which is a less stable anion this becomes a less stable because the negative charge over here is more the negative charge over here is less the negative charge since is more this becomes a less stable anion a less stable anion produces a weaker acid the right answer to this question will be a again hcl hcoh acetic acid okay chal नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दिस फॉर द रिएक्शन नहीं फॉर द रिएक्शन होना चाहिए दिस शुड बी फॉर द रिएक्शन फॉर द रिएक्शन एन टू प्लस थ्री एक्स टू फॉर टू एन एस थ्री वेयर एक्स इज फ्लोरिन क्लोरिन यू बिन गिवन एवरेज बॉन्ड एनर्जीज यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट हीट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन एवरेज बॉन्ड एनर्जीज अगर आपको दे दिया दिट मीन्स आपके लिए क्वेश्चन उन्होंने ईजी कर दिया हीट ऑफ फॉर्मेशन कैसे निकालते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल एन टू प्लस F2, 3F2 changes to 2NF3. So if I have to perform this reaction, तो मुझे nitrogen nitrogen का bond break करना पड़ेगा Remember, when bond is broken, you have to provide heat. So it is endothermic. Fluorine fluorine bond has to be broken. But when bonds are formed, it is exothermic. So what is the enthalpy change of the reaction? delta h means energy given out 
in the formation of bonds of products plus energy taken in for breaking bonds of reactant whatever is the sum will decide whether the process is uh, will have delta H positive or delta H negative don't worry about the fact that delta H positive and negative are उसके बारे में अभी चिंता मत कीजिए बट मेथड यही है निकालने का सो so, हमें कैसे निकालना है एनर्जी गिवन इन बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्ट कितने बॉन्ड्स हमने बनाए हैं एन एफ के बीच में तीन बॉन्ड है और दो मोल लिए तो टोटल कितना बॉन्ड बनाया हमने सिक्स सो आई कैन राइट सिक्स टाइम्स एन एफ बॉन्ड एनर्जी इज टू सेवेंटी टू सो टू सेवन टू इज दिस एनर्जी गिवन आउट और टेकन इन This energy is given out. तो यह minus हो जाएगा ठीक है This will mean minus. Plus, which bond has been broken? Nitrogen, nitrogen bond has been broken. How many bonds are broken? One triple bond is broken because one N2 molecule is being dissociated. तो one triple bond का bond energy दे दिया गया है 941. फोर्टी वन दिस हीट इज गिवन इन प्लस फ्लोरिन फ्लोरिन हाउ मेनी बॉन्ड्स आर बिंग ब्रोकन आई हैव वन फ्लोरिन फ्लोरिन बॉन्ड इन ईच मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एफ टू आई एम ब्रेकिंग थ्री सच बॉन्ड्स सो थ्री टाइम्स एफ एफ इज वन फिफ्टी फाइव इफ आई कैलकुलेट दिस इफ आई कैलकुलेट दिस वॉट इज द एंसर दट आई शुड बी गेटिंग सो 272 this will be somewhere 72 to 12 obviously this this becomes a larger value this is a larger value this is a smaller value and this is almost 6 to 12 and agar ye almost 3 ke barabar maan lete hain तो ये इससे करीबन ऑलमोस्ट 200 हंड्रेड टाइम्स टू हंड्रेड यूनिट ज्यादा लग रहा है सो आंसर आई थिंक शुड बी माइनस टू टू सिक्स एंड क्लोरिन के लिए भी इसी तरह से निकालेंगे द आंसर विल टर्न आउट टू बी प्लस फोर सिक्सटी सेवन ट्राई टू कैलकुलेट फॉर फ्लोरिन एंड डू लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन दैट यू आर गेटिंग दिस आंसर और नॉट ऑल्सो इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग टू नोट ओवर हेयर ये देखो वैल्यू देखो यहां पर वन and chlorine chlorine is 242 so fluorine fluorine bond energy is less even though the atoms are smaller because fluorine fluorine electron cloud ke beech mein repulsion hota hai so this is a very important observation fluorine fluorine bond energy is less as compared to chlorine chlorine uh, overlap takes place better in fluorine overlap could have taken better but because of the electron cloud there is a repulsion okay so the right answer should be a minus 226 and plus 467 chali next question pe chalte hain next question is very interesting because this is the reaction of c2h6 gaseous chain which is giving c2h4 and h2 is at equilibrium the enthalpy change for the reaction is 137 delta h is given as plus 137 it's an endothermic process Whenever you have an endothermic process, endothermic process is favored if I provide heat. ठीक है? Exothermic process is when I take out heat. So, which of the following actions would shift the equilibrium to the right? That means I have to go in the forward direction. I have to go in the forward direction. Clear? Now, how do you solve this question? my advice would be to use a very simple equation k equilibrium is equal to product by reactant times rt by v to the power delta n which is also the same as product by reactant times pressure upon summation n to the power delta n 
ये इक्वेशन कैसे आता है इस पर अभी हम ध्यान नहीं देंगे वी कैन लाइक सम यू कैन अटेम्प्ट टू डू दिस यू कैन राइट द रिलेशन बिटवीन के पी एंड के सी एंड यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई हाउ दे आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर ओके सो के पी एंड के सी का ही ये रिलेशन हम निकाल रहे हैं क्योंकि गैशियस है तो इक्विबरियम कॉन्स्टेंट इज गिवन फॉर के पी दिस इक्वेशन विल कम अप आर टी बाई वी को हम लिख रहे प्रेशर बाई समेशन एन बिकॉज पी वी इज इक्वल टू टोटल नंबर ऑफ मोल्स टाइम्स आर टी सो आर टी बाई वी बिकम्स प्रेशर बाई समेशन एन डेल्टा एन इज द डिफरेंस इन द क्वेफिशियंट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड रियक्टेंट्स सो डेल्टा एन इज द डिफरेंस इन द क्वेफिशियंट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट सो ये वन वन है एंड ये वन है सो डिफरेंस इन द क्वेफिशियंट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड रियक्टेंट्स डेल्टा एन इज दैट delta n can be positive delta n can be negative delta n can be zero as well for example n2 plus 3h2 giving rise to 2n is 3 delta n is negative for this reaction delta n is positive h2 plus cl2 giving rise to 2hcl delta n is zero so delta n can have any value now let's look at what is the question which of the following actions will shift the equilibrium to the right now this equation can be used for estimating uh, the direction in which things will move except uh, for all condition for all changes except temperature change okay temperature change aapko yaad rakhna hai endothermic heat karenge forward jayega exothermic heat karenge backward jayega fine now let's look at the temperature thing first decreasing the temperature at which the reaction is performed so it is endothermic we are decreasing the temperature so the reaction will move in which direction backward direction so ye to ho nahi sakta b cannot be our answer okay decreasing the volume of the closed reaction container so if i decrease the volume let's look at these two equations if i'm decreasing the volume look at this from a mathematical point of view delta n for this reaction is positive so this is positive and i'm writing this as positive ye positive hai agar volume ko aapne decrease kiya to aapne denominator ko decrease kiya hai isko constant rakhne ke liye ye bhi decrease karna padega aapko mathematically dekho yaar if i decrease the denominator i have to decrease the numerator so as to keep this k constant and what is the objective of la chatelier principle the la chatelier principle says that equilibrium constant should be kept constant no matter whatever it takes so reaction move in the backward or forward direction to keep the equilibrium constant a constant by nullifying the change to so nullify kaise karenge if volume of the container is decrease product concentration will decrease product concentration kaise decrease kar raha hai if reaction moves in the backward direction so this will be also back okay let's look at adding inert gas to closed reaction vessel closed reaction vessel means constant volume volume clo constant kar diya closed reaction vessel ka matlab constant volume okay how would you keep the volume constant how do you keep the volume constant so remember that if you look at this part equation isko aapne constant kar diya you have made it constant this is also a constant so are you doing any change no if i am me keeping this constant and keeping this constant uske baad main kuch bhi add karta raha hu मेरा इक्लेब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट पे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा सो माई इक्लेब्रियम कॉन्स्टेंट विल नॉट बी डिस्टर्ब इट विल नॉट मेक एनी इफेक्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इन अ वेरी डिफरेंट वे इफ आई एड सम मोल्स एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम वेन आई एड मोल्स सो वी इज कॉन्स्टेंट कैन आई से दैट पी बाई समेशन एन हैज टू बी केप्ट कॉन्स्टेंट हाउ कैन वी मेक दिस कॉन्स्टेंट इफ आई इंक्रीज समेशन एन P should also increase. That means if I add moles, these molecules should strike on the wall of the container. 
so as to increase pressure proportionately so if this is increased this should increase proportionately and that will nullify the effect i would have no change on the numerator and denominator and k equilibrium will be not disturbed so adding inert gas at constant volume does not disturb the equilibrium this is not the answer decreasing the volume of the closed reaction vessel ye to humne pehle hi hata diya increasing the volume so if i increase this what will happen this will be increased the reaction will move in the forward direction the right answer will be d my dear students theek hai isko fir se ek bar acche se samajhne ki koshish kijiye we will try to bring out a separate video for explaining la charlie principle but until then use this equation try to incorporate all the all the changes and dekho ki kya hota hai theek hai next question is this an excess of ag2cro4 is added to this the concentration of ag sorry ag plus hona chahiye the concentration of ag plus in the solution solubility product is given very simple question ksp of ag2cro4 Ag2CrO4 would be written as 2 Ag plus plus CrO4 2 minus strong electrolyte weak electrolyte common ion effect will operate. You can see that questions आप ही कहाँ से आधा आ रहे हैं solubility product से तो solubility product के ऊपर 10-15 question solve कर लीजिए एक बफ एक दो question buffer के ऊपर solve कर लो और pH के ऊपर maximum question तो solubility product का आ रहा है so पूरे chapter को पढ़ने की जरूरत नहीं solubility product पे ज़्यादा ध्यान देना है इंथेल्पी इंट्रॉपिक कैलकुलेशन बॉन्ड एनर्जी कैलकुलेशन इन पे ज्यादा ध्यान देना है के एस पी वुड बी रिटर्न एज वन पॉइंट वन टाइम्स टेन रेज टू माइनस ट्वेल्व ए जी प्लस आयोन कंसेंट्रेशन इज टू बी कैलकुलेटेड ए जी प्लस स्क्वायर क्रोमेट आयन कंसेंट्रेशन इज गिवन एज फाइव टाइम्स टेन रेज टू माइनस थ्री because k2 cro4 will dissociate to give 2k plus na chromate ion uh, cro4 2 minus cro4 2 minus and concentration will be this if i divide both of them and take the square root of it i will get uh, minus 3 minus kitna answer aa jana chahiye this should come as to be 10 raised to minus 3 hai na so माइनस नाइन वन पॉइंट वन टाइम्स फाइव सो इसको टेन कर देते हैं एंड दिस विल बी टू पॉइंट समथिंग टू पॉइंट टू टाइम्स टेन रेज टू माइनस टेन इफ आई टेक द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ इट इट विल बी टेन रेज टू माइनस फाइव एंड टू पॉइंट टू विल बी 2 का स्क्वायर रूट होता है 1.414, 2.2 का होगा 1.5 के आसपास कुछ हो जाएगा, so 1.5 times 10 raised to minus 5, right answer should be B. Okay, सारे क्वेश्चंस हमारे बहुत ज़्यादा एक्सप्रोक्सिमेशन से ही निकल जा रहे हैं, ठीक है? The pH of 0.1 molar acetic acid is closest to and let's see. Okay. The pH of 0.1 molar acetic acid solution is closest to. How do we solve this question? Very simple. pH calculation. CH three COOH dissociates to give CH three CO minus. I do not have any common salt. I do not have any salt present. So buffer equation. We will not use. How do we solve the question? We have to get this. So this is if C one minus alpha, this is C alpha, this is C alpha. Okay, so H plus ion concentration is C alpha. Okay, and alpha is written as if I write equilibrium constant, then K will be equal to C alpha square by one minus alpha. And uh, if I if alpha is very less as compared to one, then When alpha is very less as compared to one, alpha will be equal to root over k upon c. So I use that approximation over here and write c 
k upon c this will become root over k c as the h plus ion concentration k ki value kya di gayi hai 1.8 times 10 raised to minus 5 so let's approximate this to i'm solving this over here 2 times 10 raised to minus 5 and 0.1 so this will be 10 raised to minus 1 root of this so that will be root of 2 times 10 raised to minus 3 okay uh, 10 raised to minus 6 sorry 10 raised to minus 6 if I take the square root of it h plus ion concentration will turn out to be equal to how much 1.414 times 10 raised to minus 3 what is pH? pH is negative log of H plus ion concentration. So negative log kya hoga? Minus log of H plus ion concentration is the pH which is equal to negative log of this will be 3 minus 3 minus log of 1.414. Log of 1.414 3 se thoda kam hona chahiye, to right answer should be 2.87. Okay, 1.414 baut zada value nahi log 3 uh, log 2 is 0 0.3010. So log 1.414 should be less than 0 0.3010. So 2.7 se thoda zada answer hoga. Answer should turn out to be 2.87. Okay. Again, this is the last question. Magnesium hydroxide is precipitated when NaOH is added to a solution of Mg2 plus ion. If the final concentration of Mg2 plus ion is 10 raised to minus 10, the concentration of OH. Let's say we solve it without pen paper. Liye. So Mg2 plus ion concentration and magnesium hydroxide. So Ksp will be written as Ksp is equal to Mg2 plus times OH minus whole square. Aisa Mg2 plus ion concentration is 10 raised to minus 10. OH, um, KSP is 5.6 times 10 raised to minus 12. So, can I say that OH minus concentration whole square will be 5.6 times 10 raised to minus 2. Uska square root lena hai. Yuki OH minus ion concentration aapko nikalna hoga. You have to calculate the OH minus ion concentration. What is the right answer? Please do comment in the comment section. Yuki, this question ko humne bohat bar solve ke liye common and effect fit se chal raha hai. OH minus ion concentration nikalna, magnesium concentration diya, solubility product is given, write the proper equation, tell me the answer in the comment section. So, do homework question up ke raha ek ho gaya, in internal energy change calculation ka nika, and one is OH minus ion concentration. So, with this, we dis end today's discussion session, and I like to tell you that we are bringing up a test series, the link for that will be there in the description box. It has two part tests, three full tests, and there will be a complete analysis. There is a lightning price of one, <clears throat> 1000 rupees. So please do uh, may, uh, tell your friends to register for this. Please do refer to everybody that you know to register for this so that you can avail the benefit. There will be handsome number of people, in house people, who are in the house, and in the house, and in the house, and in You will get a very good idea where do you stand just before the right actual examination okay and please do join the telegram group finally uh, like share and subscribe please do tell your friends that kpy classes are being conducted not on any other channel but on the channel vedantu okay so this is Saurav Goswami taking leave and I hope you enjoyed this session and join me in the next session which will be on chemical kinetics um, radioactivity and electrochemistry. Bye-bye guys and have a lovely time.